when he, when he was put on the limelight trying to explain why the Quran doesn't talk about the Passover he thinks the Passover was comparable to the Goa <coughs> what kind of scholar is he Quran never said the tower was built Quran says Pharaoh asked for tower for build and then Quran also tells us when that was happening, Pharaoh chased Moses and Pharaoh was drowned. In other words, according to you, tafsirs of errors, hadiths of errors, according to you. Yeah. 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 Quran rejects what is what there is a lie in the Bible, and Quran confirms which is the truth. In other words, so, Islam is not a logical extension of the Bible that we have. Do you agree? Children of Israel about that when these signs came forth. So how said, many signs? We nine clear signs. Surah, yeah. Surah 27 verse, but I at 12. Nine now. clear signs asked let's, the children let's, of let's Israel do, do about more. that when these signs came forth. Pharaoh said to him, Moses, I think that you are bewitched. Surah, okay. I'm, I'm reading the, yeah, the whole context. Pardon. Moses replied. So how many? How Hold many on. has happened? Hold on, wait. So nine signs happened and then Pharaoh let him go, isn't it? No, 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 no. no. Exactly. No, no, that's what he's saying. That's what he's no, saying. No, no, that's what the Quran is saying. saying. So, no, you that's what the Quran is saying. Quran. So you believe the same as well? Nope. Nine no, no, happened no. and nope. then they no. let it go. Okay. No, 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 no. So, so here is the point. So exactly the point. Happened. You know well that no one uh, but the Lord of the heavens and the earth has sent these as eye-opening proof. I truly think, O oh, Pharaoh, that you are indeed doomed. I'm going to read the whole context, yeah? At last, Pharaoh decided to uproot Moses and the children of Israel and the, uh, from the land. But we drowned him together with all who were with him. And thereafter, we said to the children of Israel, now dwell in the land. Okay, nine signs happen here. Okay, okay. so okay. How, how many signs? The Quran has counted. You don't have to count. No, that's fine. No, you don't even need to know okay. how, okay. Who, who, who. Let's say Quran, nine signs oh, happen. Okay, so let's say Quran said wait, wait. Say nine si no, signs happen. Yeah? yeah. Now, you need to show me that Quran is denying that the sign of the, the blood and the children of Israel, will, uh, Egyptians will die. No, no, it's it doesn't. So, so uh, you Abba, 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 no, Abba, you were quite, Jesus Christ. Amen? Abbas, right. you were quite candid. You were candid enough okay. to say, after you read that verse, you said, Arul, so you agree, after the ninth sign, the nation of Israel was sent away. Right. You, you said that. Yeah. In other words, a simple reading of the surah and the ayah that we gave you, which is um, which one is that? Seventeen. Pounding on that. Seventeen. Kind of? Seventeen. Surah seventeen. I want you to understand ayah one thing. I want you to understand one surah thing. Surah seventeen. Ayah one o one. A simple reading of it is quite clear. Yeah. According to the Quran, Allah has given nine signs. Nine no, signs. No problem. No problem. I plenty understand. of problem. I, no problem for you. No, no, you have to let me speak as well. No problem for you, but plenty of problem for me and the Jews. And the most important problem is this. The tenth sign, if you go and ask a Jew, do you celebrate the coming of the frogs into the nation of Egypt? Do you celebrate that? They would say, well, what is that? We don't celebrate that. Yeah. If you ask them, do you celebrate the sending of the locusts into the nation of Egypt? They'd say no. If you ask them, do you celebrate the, 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 the waters becoming bl blood in the nation of Egypt? They'd say no. So if you ask them, out of all the plagues that happened, out of all the signs that you saw, which one do you celebrate? Yes. What would they say? They would say, we celebrate the Passover. The Passover. Right. And what is the Passover? The Passover is the sacrificial lamb. The lamb which was sacrificed during which of those signs? The tenth sign. When the tenth sign, which is the killing, the slaughter of the firstborn sons, happened. The name, the, uh, Brother, the you, you are on and on and on. You're going too long. Let me answer you as well. Because I, under, I got your point. Quran, according to you, missing the Passover sign. That's and according to you also. Okay, just no. That's according to you, you Other, clearly said. If you, if you carry on monologue, then I just yeah. walk away. Just, 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 walk. Let's have a, have you a conversation. You have to let me speak as well. And have some courage as a Christian. Let me speak as well. Now, you are saying, since Quran said there are nine signs, clearly Quran is denying the Passover sign. You, you're wrong here. Now you need to show me the signs. I'm sure you have studied the Quran about this uh, about this um, ten signs thing. You need to tell me with the Quran count the signs nine signs. Show me where the Quran missed out on Passover sign, but Quran mentioned other nine signs which you can't. I am sure you can't. 
what what I'm saying is here, to your counting there are ten signs, but the Quran counting there are nine signs. And Quran not denying the Passover sign unless you show me no Quran, brother, brother, level. Yeah, unless, you, unless, you me, unless you show me, unless you show me, brother, brother, unless, unless you show me your nine signs are mentioned in the Quran, but the tenth is not mentioned, then you have a point. You cannot count. I want you to show me the frog sign, the blood sign, the the insects coming in, and then you count nine in the Quran, but Passover is missing. What I'm saying is this: it's possible. The Passover is part of those nine signs. Yes, so according to the Quran, there are nine. According to you, there are ten. Unless you, can, if you cannot prove that, then you have, don't have a point. Can you open that? Do you understand what I'm saying? I said. I you. understood what okay. you said. So you, you are, what, what you saying? You're going against your own early no, no. point. No, no, no. You, no. you were earlier saying Quran deny the Passover sign. Now Quran is not denying the Passover sign. All Quran is saying there are nine signs. According can to you, Bible, you said ten signs. Yes. Surah 19, uh, 17, Ayah 101. Yes. But Allah given Moses nine signs. Fine. Now you count no, no, the nine it's signs. It's not fine. You say fine. It's not fine. You, when I asked you to read this earlier. Yes. So what does the verse Surah 17, Ayah 101 say? We have given Moses nine we signs. We granted Moses nine clear signs. Yes. yes. Right. And, and what are the children of Israel about we, that? Yes. When these signs came forth, Pharaoh said to him, Moses, I think that you are. I think bewitched. we need to open the uh, chapter seven and we count when, the signs. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. When, when you read that, would you agree, please, that you asked me? So, Arul, do you agree with? Because I think you were a bit confused whether it was nine or ten. You asked me. I was not confused. Arul, I said, I do you agree? It. I Arul, was, I was never confused. Did brother. you ask me, Arul? Do you agree that at the end of nine signs? The, uh, the Pharaoh let Israel leave. Did he not ask that or not? Oh, the Quran says that clearly. In other words, the Quran, a simple reading of this verse is clear that at the end of nine signs, the nation of Israel was left off. And that's how. If you, no count, if you count one, two, three, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, if you count like that, one to nine, not one to ten, which sign would you miss out? Read the Quran. Let's say Quran. I, I'm asking you. If there are ten signs, signs. excuse me, excuse me. That's yeah. according to you. There are ten Abbas, signs. No, Quran no, no, no. didn't I'm asking you. Ten signs. I'm asking Quran you. Quran nine signs. I'm asking you. If there are ten signs according, according to the to you. according to the Bible. Yes. If there are ten signs. And we don't follow but, Bible. But, but if the case if you don't but know. if the Quran counts from one to nine, yes. and then says the nation of Israel was left off, let off. Which sign has the Quran left out? Probably the uh, probably the frog ones, probably the the wasp ones, probably that one. But what well, you cannot prove this one thing: the Quran is left out the pass of the. I tell you, I tell you why. Because what happened according to Bible account, when the tenth sign occurred, tenth sign occurred, Pharaoh gave up. Pharaoh said, "Go, I let you go." Here, according to Quran, Quran said when the ninth sign occurred, yes. Pharaoh said, "Give up, go." What is the now, ninth sign? No, no, hang on. According to Bible is different sign, but you need to show me according to Quran. So Passover sign doesn't happen. So brother, let's let's brother, do brother, a simple no, no, thing. No, no, earlier, let's do no, a no, simple thing, brother. Please. Brother, so your, doing, your first original, of all, are you going to talk over like that? First of all, I'm going to talk over like that. Your original point was Quran deny the Passover sign. So you are Where arguing you learn that from? For, so you are arguing against that now. So shall we go to some? More fundamental point. Why don't now? we read the signs in the Quran, brother? Do we agree, brother? Brother, have chapter seven. We do we agree? The sign. Uh, why? Why yeah, you yeah, not let, let, let him get that? Okay, chapter but seven. In the meantime, no, we're gonna count. No, no. We're in not, the meantime, we, no, no, it's no meantime. Do we agree? No meantime. Do we agree? We're gonna read the signs. Do we agree that the Quran contradicts the Bible? Do we agree on that? Oh, yeah, Quran reject the Bible mostly. Absolutely. Quran so in never other words, yes. in other words, Quran is not a logical extension of the Bible. Do we agree? Quran is a word revelation of God and confirms the previous revelation. That's silly. And your if Bible, the Quran rejects the Bible, you said a moment ago the Quran rejects the Bible. Quran, you can't, Quran you can't said, both reject, reject and confirm no, 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 at the same no, no, time. No, 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 no. As a Bible, as a whole, Quran rejects because Quran says the books have been distorted. They have write with their own hands. But, and they say it's from God. I'm but not asking you what the Quran thinks. The Quran so can think all Quran, sorts of fancy things. That's not I'm my asking. question. The question is, as a whole, do you agree? The Bible, as a whole. Do you agree that the Quran goes against the Bible? Against the Bible, Quran rejects what is what there is a lie in the Bible, and Quran confirms which is the truth. In other words, so, Islam is not a logical extension of the Bible that we have. Do you agree? 
Islam is a logical insta uh, sorry, uh, it's sorry. It's not a logical extension. Of course it's So not. you can't go around blaming not. we follow the same Islam, God, we follow the same Islam, we, we go with the I'll same answer, I'll, answer, I'll answer you. Islam is a logical extension of the truth revealed in the past. That's what Islam is. No. Islam, Islam, if you're asking me, Islam the question is the extension simple. of the lie, then Quran Islam is not because Bible as a whole is a lie. Uh, there we go. Yes. So which a Muslim. God, which God is so in, in other words, a Muslim would yes, see. Okay. Okay. In other words. Okay. In other words, a Muslim. I don't know. I don't know if you're doing that deliberately. In other words, I want him to read the Quran in other words, and prove the Muslim nine signs. Sees, and Passover is missing, but there's other nine signs. And I think you deliberately don't words, want him to read. In other words, okay, enough of you yours, are saying let's read the Quran. The Bible is a lie. As a whole, the Bible is a lie. Of course, yeah, okay. it's a lie. So in other words, yeah. Muslims are quite Muslim, clear. Of course. Corruption. I'm not saying that Quran says that. Muslims, chapter 5, Muslim. verse 13 and 14 say the Bible of the Jews have distorted it. Chapter 2, verse 79 said they write with their own hands and this is from God. And there are many verses in the Quran which rejects the lies and all. So, that's why there are Brother so many Darren, this is, Absolutely. This, is, this is the important point I'd really like to make at this stage. Which is, why are you not letting you read? I said any so reason. By all means, but let's We want to read and count. <laughs> let's, we want let's to read the count. Yeah, yes, he's preaching here. Let's, let's wrap this up and then he can read. The important point here is, Muslims have rejected the Bible as we have it today. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's very, anything. Look, that's even, very, even, that's, even, even, you know that even the Hindus, if they say something truth, even if you don't believe it, we say that's in the Quran, and we agree with you. If Hindu says, uh, what was the word says, there is no God but one God. In what the, what in you their really Vedas, mean, Islam believes what, that even what, we don't what, agree what, with Hindu words. Really so whatever Bible says goes with the Quran. What say, you really mean? Alan Masal, we agree, what we you really, it. what you really mean by your last couple of statements is that only the Quran is true. Absolutely. If someone agrees with the Quran, that is true. If someone if someone says something else, it's not true. That's what you mean. Surprise! In other words, contradicts in, other words in other words, know, how long you been coming to speakers' other, corner? In other words, surprise, oh, surprise! In other words, exactly what in, other words in other words, you reject the Bible. Oh yeah, as a whole. Good. Absolutely. So that's exactly Corruption. what I want. Is, does that to get on record? Does that come surprise to you? You know me for so long. We reject the Bible as a whole, of course. And I am reading the Bible. Bible is fair. Even the scholars are telling us many books are fabrications. There is no. We, they, we don't know. As a whole, you rejected it. Yeah, the Bible even is your alive. scholars have rejected it. No, 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 no. Forget about yes. my school, I'm the, asking you. Even this, the Christian hold scholars hold have rejected hold it. Isn't there Islamic perspective Go on. that um, some of what's in the Bible, what agrees that's in the what agrees with the Quran? Yeah, that's really Bible we agree with. Brother Quran is a Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, uh, is, is a criterion. Yeah. Uh, confirms the right, yes. uh, correct, and reject the wrong. That's Muhammad yeah. means. It's a yardstick Quran. That's what we believe. Well, it's called, it's called, it's let's read, and he's going to prove now. Quran, we count the nine nine signs given to Moses, yeah. and the Passover is missing. Oh. So we need to count nine. Yes. That's so good. then you so have a point. Reading from one three three still zero seven. Yes. Zero seven one three three. Yeah. Is that yeah. one three three, brother? Say again. One three three. Yeah, one three three. Yeah. Okay. We're going to count the nine signs. Right. So. So we let so them upon. Then we afflicted them, them with a great flood. The locusts. Lice. Locusts. Lice. 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 Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. The flood is the one that comes in the end. That's not a part of the sign. Well, obviously, Quran is wrong. No, no, no. There's no, no. Flood. Obviously, the Quran is wrong. No, the flood was when they were drowned. And that happened after the nine. No, 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 Tell no, no, the Quran. No, no, no. What is the flood? What is the flood here? The only other thing that happened was the nine. What is the flood? Look, this probably let, let refers me, let me, let me, to the torrential finish. rain accompanied by hailstorm. Okay. That happened at the sea, not, not okay. at the nine. Okay, okay, fair enough. Okay, flood. Let's continue. So, floods, locusts, lice. Lice. Frogs, have you got blood in there? Frogs, four, and blood, blood, okay. blood five, that's, that's it. That's, five, that's, that's, that's five. It's got five. No, no, we need to count nine signs. Yeah. That's all that you've got. Wow. But then, then that's all that you've got. Other so this Where's is the other four. So your no, you need to tell us where the other No, 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 hang on. <laughs> They need to tell us brother, where they are, brother, brother. because we can't see no okay, sign okay, of okay, 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 okay. So, so the Quran mentions say. five. What I would say right. is, yeah. if it's right. mentioned five, but the Quran says, says there were nine, yeah. but it mentions five. Yeah. So, so it doesn't mention the other four. Uh, 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 brother, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't mention, mention the Passover lemon top. The right, so, yeah. so, yeah. so, the argument is so, bogus. No, 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 no. I'm telling you the reason, no, no, no. Let me speak for a minute. The reason why. The 10th plague and the Passover lamb is important is because that was the plague that allowed uh, the Israelites to be let go and then Pharaoh the chased them. Secondly, 
Secondly, he's saying Quran deny that. He's saying the only Quran. Hang on a second. I, I secondly, don't know why you lie, brother. Hang on a second. Secondly, let me make this last point. The last point is, in order for them to have the meal of the Passover lamb, the bones of the Passover lamb were not broken, and that was the same as happened to Jesus Christ. Therefore, he he's preaching now. That, I'm telling you. What's I'm the, telling you what, why Allah would not want it revealed. Because it symbolizes and it foreshadows Jesus Christ. That's why. Okay. Right. Now, can I believe in Can I? Can I speak now? Wait, 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 wait. Why are before you preaching? No, no, wait, wait. You wait, are accusing wait, Islam, but you are having a you having a discussion. My point. Stick to the original my point. point. Stick to the original point. Abbas, my yeah. point in this regard is basically quite simple. your point is no point. I agree that your point you is have no proven. Point. If you listen, finish. Yeah, if you listen. Go on. My point is pretty simple. Yeah. And my point is this. Yeah. If you ask any Jew. Yeah. Any Jew who walks around here, yeah, was if anybody else. any yeah. Jew is who you know of, okay. and ask them to tell you about a few signs which they know oh of. You already said this before, head, man. Yeah, it's okay, let him say. Off the top of their head, yeah. even if he knows nothing about, uh, if he, even even if he remembers nothing yes. about any other sign, yeah. do you know which sign they would surely know of? Okay. How are you guys? You okay. Do you know which sign they would show? surely know of? Okay, what's your point, man? Do you, why, why did you talk like this? Do you know which sign they would, they would surely know of? Do you know? Passover, of course. Exactly. So, the one sign they would talk about, if they spoke only about one, would be the Passover. Here, your Quran speaks about nine. It gives a list of five there. Yeah. Yet, it doesn't talk about the one important sign any Jew would talk about that would be the paramount thing in their mind and there is a very particular reason for that number one and the reason that would be paramount for them is that the Passover Shall and we put the alarm on when, you, when the alarm goes then you're going to stop well you can <laughs> put the alarm on you can because put the alarm mashallah, on yes. okay. the reason the Jews would remember only that yeah. If, even I, if they, I got even your if point. they, I got your point. Now your query, the reason, and your acquisition the should reason, be, the reason, should be, the reason is, the reason is that's the defining moment yes. of the origin of the nation of Israel. The defining Amen. moment. The uh, Islam, when it completely forgets about that, and I am going to say when it gives the nine, it deliberately ignores that tenth. It does. Like how you agreed and you asked me about earlier, which is after the nine they were sent off. The reason they do that is because they want to deny Islam and the Quran wants to ignore the crucial <coughs> element of the origin of the nation of Israel, which is redemption through blood and coming out as a redeemed people because God Himself sacrificed uh, god himself gave this uh, uh, system of sacrificial lamb yeah. for the nation of israel okay, okay. islam completely forgets okay, about okay, that okay. when I, when i came in the beginning you were very very clear about this the quran denied that's the 10th sign and it only give nine signs that's what you were saying when i came earlier now what we learn here quran never denied the passover what what your what your question should be why Quran did not mention, mention the Passover, exactly. and that would be a better There's question. A no, 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 but, um, it's my that is not my question. It's my turn. It's my turn. You should ask that. Not what, what you were so clear that Quran denied the Passover. That's exactly what it said. That that's in the video, and you cannot prove that that Quran denied it. What do you say? Quran doesn't mention it. That's not the same thing. You so you argue from the uh, from the silence, no, and that's not the. And we don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a scholar. There is a wisdom. Maybe there's a hikmah why Allah doesn't mention the Passover. While Allah doesn't mention the Passover sign, a scholar can explain that maybe there's a reason, there's a hikmah behind that. Allah doesn't seem to, to mention that. But it's not the same, brother. It's not that Quran is rejecting it. Uh, and also, when you count 10, Quran count 9, so there's an argument every who's right and who's wrong. Yes? Quran counting 9, your count is 10. So that's, that's the difference. And we don't follow the Bible. If I follow the Bible, then I say, yeah, Quran is missing a 1. For, for Quran counting is 9. So we know the distortion happened in the Bible all the time. So there is maybe at the 10th sign was added in. When did distortion happen in the Bible? Uh, Quran, uh, Bible has many conventions. Many scripts disagree with each other. When did distortion? 10 plays? You know, you know what? You know what no, no, no. In general. general. So you know what distortion Bible is? Is there? You know what distortion is? Fabricating is there, interpolation? Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or taking out things? Or adding things? things and you agree? Is there? In the, in the Bible? Do you agree? Do you agree? The manuscripts have editions. Do you agree? The manuscripts have editions. 
and taken out things. Do you agree? Any manuscript with nine plates? He agrees actually. He's yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you agree? Do you plates? agree? Hold on, yeah. bro. Any manuscript with nine plates? No, I'm not saying that the manuscript. Well, oh, hang on. The oldest manuscript you have is 2,100 you don't years even old. Have the original Bible. Moses lived 3,400 years ago. Yes. And you, the oldest manuscript we have is 2,100 years old. No, 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 so no, there is no. a 1,300 year gap. We don't know when the later on they decided we going to put 10 one and the, the the oldest manuscript which doesn't exist have probably have nine. Question: we don't Any know. man? They probably have because the oldest manuscript, as I say, you have 1,300 Abbas. year gap. Abbas. Many things can Abbas. happen in 13, 1,300 years. Abbas. Yeah. So your original point is the answers. Every evidence in the nation of Israel. Every evidence. He can answer you about the Quran doesn't make things up. He makes things up as he goes on. And Joseph. And Joseph the Jew comes in. He makes things up as he goes on. He's never spoken to me anymore. And Joseph the Jew comes in. He makes things up as he goes on. 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 It's a, it's a difference here. Quran so, is not rejecting it. So, it doesn't mention. Doesn't mean it, it's. Quran rejecting. doesn't mention guavas. It doesn't mean, even it doesn't mention. Five. It doesn't mention. Uh, Ask him that question. It doesn't mention like, watermelon. He, 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 your scholar. Your scholar. What's your name? I'm not a scholar. I'm not a scholar. What's your name? I'm not a scholar. So your scholar. Scholars are always humble. They say they're scholar. He will say, but I think he's a scholar. What's your name? My name is Adnan. Adnan. So your scholar Adnan thinks. The reason Quran doesn't mention the Passover is the same is the same as the fact that uh, as the reason that Quran doesn't talk about Goas. That's what he said. So oh, to him, basically saying, yeah, I'm not saying. I can't speak Quran. I understood it. I can't pronounce that properly. Do you see? Do you see a fundamental problem here? Goas is not a defining thing in the nation of Israel, whereas the Passover is. He was joking. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. He was he, making. He, he, he was joking. A scholar, he, he, he can answer you that. A scholar, he, he that. when it comes to a serious thing, joking. Is that what you're telling me? People joke here all the time. People, people even mock all the land. So the basic point here, Arun, Abbas, Abbas, Arun, the basic you point are is simple. From the silence. No, that yeah. is not my yeah. argument. That is not. You always argue from the silence. You always remember you talking about yeah, that his, his God argument has been killed. God, God Bro, has a, what? Oh, they they came, it, they came over. Chapter fifty-eight. Didn't you argue earlier? Uh, I wanted to talk to you about that as well. The tall tower. The I'll tower. Come to that. With, with the that. clay, big clay. I, that was the I'll, argument I'll come, from the silence. Do you know I'll, that? I'll come to that in a bit. Okay, lovely. I'll good see. I'll come to that. I'll come to that in a bit, Abbas. Brother. So the fundamental. Remember, devil is always always in the detail. Yeah. Of course. Yes, in general. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I agree with that as well. I'm exactly. not yeah, the, the devil is in the detail that Abbas discussed. <laughs> the, the devil is exactly there in the detail of the Quran. Brother, why are you say calling yourself devil? I'm not calling you. I'm not discussing Abbas, with the devil. Abbas, the fact of the matter. I'm joking as well. The fact Maybe of the matter. The facts of the matter are these. Number yeah. one, the Quran rejects the Bible. Oh yeah, absolutely. Why are you debating Number yourself? Number two. Yeah, we agree that. Number two. The Quran, Quran reject any falsehood and false the Bible as a whole is falsehood. No, I'm not asking you to use terms falsehood and truth and so on. We haven't established which one is true, which one is false. So far, we haven't. So let's let's we stick can, to simple terms. Want. We can, which we'll get on to in a minute, please. First point: Quran rejects the Bible. Second point: Quran rejects the defining moment of the nation of Israel according to the Bible. Now, in terms of the historicity of the Passover. Abbas, in terms of the historicity of the Passover, the Passover meal is still taken by the nation of Israel. The Jews, even today, do that. They're still waiting for the Messiah Peshach. as well. Still this day, the they're still waiting for Messiah. That doesn't make them right. That's bite. not the question. The question is, the Passover meal is still happening. Yeah. The Passover is a remembrance of something which happened in their past. Today we know they are still doing it. What we also know is even from before the time of Jesus, they were doing it. Outside of the Bible, even from before the time of Jesus, we have evidences, we have historical records of the Passover being celebrated outside of the Bible. In other words, the Bible talks about the Passover. Outside of the Bible, we have evidences to suggest so Quran ignores Passover. So what? No. Outside Passover of the, is not a religion. Abbas, 
The Bible talks about the Passover. Outside of the Bible, we have evidences for the fact that Jews, <coughs> nation, Jews uh, commemorated Passover from even the time uh, before Jesus Christ. We have these two evidences. On top of these, we also know until they, until today they do it. The question now is, despite these three specific evidences, why do you think the Passover is not important, did not happen? Well, a lot, well as I say, scholar might be well, um, there may be answer to that question and I can look into that and I'll come back to this because you are because I didn't look into that very carefully the Passover thing not mention the ground but I'm sure there's a, there's an answer to that but you have to you have to give me maybe next week I'll come uh, next week I'm not coming week after next I'll come and I'll answer you that but I'm even looking at I'm sure there's a good reason why Passover is not mentioned maybe there's a oh. well, let me, or let me. maybe there is a mention somewhere uh, in, 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 in the, the good reason, the, the good reason Islam ignores the Passover is the fact that Islam wants to deliberately ignore the defining moment of the nation of Israel. That is the good reason. That's, what, that's one point. Let me, let me just make. No, why would then Allah mention about this uh, um, Allah rescue children of Israel from Pharaoh? If Allah wanted to completely ignore them, Allah is mentioning He rescued them from Pharaoh. But He's ignoring the sacrificial system, which which is a defining moment of I the nation. I wouldn't say He's ignoring it. There is maybe a reason He didn't. Not he mentioning. Did, he, yeah, is he ignoring. didn't mention the Passover. Not but, mentioning. Look, is ignoring. That, that's one thing to my knowledge. But it may be somewhere. So come I may up be missed out by week. you. Please come, come up. next week. I'm not coming next week. But week after next, week I'll, week I'll, I'll next. Come. Please come, come up with your but, research but, view. But you, but you see, but when you say Quran deny, don't use the word tonight Quran deny and that's what he said denying meaning or Allah say that doesn't happen that's a deny Quran never say that Nine doesn't happen signs which sign does Quran deny you no, no, tell no, me no no you earlier clearly says Quran deny the Passover so you don't tell me which no, sign you know what denies. you know what in your English language deny means rejecting it so Quran is not rejecting Nine it instead of ten means it's rejecting no, you you keep playing with the numbers what I'm saying is Quran count nine you count ten Yes. Now, which one? So something has no, been rejected. No, but, but which you, one but is that? You are with the surety saying the Quran is rejecting the denying the Passover. Which one? And that's is it not the right. Them? Quran doesn't mention ten. I'm asking nine. you. Quran which doesn't one? even mention nine. Quran mentioned five. Yeah, so you cannot say it's you have. You can't say it was the the Passover one. You can't say that because I'm asking you which one? I, Quran only mentioned four, five. So which one is it rejecting? Okay, give me ten, then I'll tell you which one. I'm going to tell you. Give my guess word. Go on, go on, count 10. 10, go count 10. Count 10 in the Bible. The Quran doesn't know no, about no, the no, Passover. No, tell, tell me your 10. I, I, I'll I'm going to answer I'll you. Give you, you a ask hint. me a question. I'll give you a hint. No, don't give me a hint. Just tell me the 10, bar, 10 uh, signs. Uh, blood, frogs, lice, flies, livestock, boils, hail, locust, darkness, death of firstborn. Uh, what do you say? What, what do you say? Livestock. Yeah. I say livestock. Okay, good. Yeah. Boom. Uh, why would you kill livestock? Yeah. Why would you kill livestock? Everybody needs livestock yeah, to eat. I say livestock is, is a fabrication. Prove me wrong. The proof is. <laughs> you see, it's, it's very proof, easy, man. The proof is. Uh, Quran obviously does not talk about the one sign which any Jew would talk about first thing. The Quran doesn't mention about the other five. Quran mentions five. You agree with five, but the other five Quran doesn't mention according to the Bible. Many so why Jews, you say many it has Jews. to be the Passover one? Why? Let me make, significance why do you say it could be life so? Let me, let me mention this carefully again. It, it yeah, this was 23. A Jew even if he does not know, remember the remaining nine, yeah. he would remember the Passover. Allah is not a Jew, do you know that? Allah is I'm not a Jew. I'm hoping Allah would remember yeah, all Allah. So, so Jew might have remembered, or it's very important, for Allah is not a Jew, he pick and whichever he mentioned, the other, that doesn't mean he's denying the Passover. He doesn't just mention Passover. Al Allah's memory. There's a difference. There's a difference. So, Abbas, that's what Abbas, I'm saying. Abbas, that's my knowledge. You really but brought I'm, up a very good point. Yeah. But I'm my sure, point there I'm pretty is sure I can Islamic give you a very Allah, valid answer in two weeks' time. And Abbas, I'm pretty sure somewhere. My precise meant. point there is purely because you brought up the memory of Islamic Allah. My precise point is the one thing which a Jew would remember I say wisdom Islamic. Of Allah. The one thing which a Jew would remember, the Islamic Allah doesn't seem to remember. The one thing which a Jew would remember, the Islamic Allah doesn't seem Allah to remember. Allah doesn't mention, doesn't mean he doesn't remember. 
Well, if, he, if he doesn't mention, that doesn't mean he doesn't mention. The one thing the Jew would speak about, Islamic Allah doesn't seem to talk about. Jews say many things wrong. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying. Jews say many things they have believed okay, wrong. Let's, let's right. wrap this okay. up here. No, no. So the point I'm making find, here is... Find, find, find out when you come next place, I will. which particular sign you think has been rejected. No, 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 and no. Let's no, discuss. No, no, no. I'm going to find no. out the Passover. Watch, why Allah doesn't mention Passover? Yeah. yeah. Or if he Did mentioned you Allah. Mention anything else? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so what we have to understand is the actual significance of the Passover Lamb, uh, as far as the Bible is concerned, and as far as the New Testament is concerned. Yeah. And the significance simply is, is that Christ was crucified at the time of Passover, at the time of Passover, and uh, when uh, John announced Jesus. At his, at his ministry, he says, Behold the Lamb of God that come to take, the sin, to take away the sins of the world. Also, the Passover Lamb, as I've said before, his bones were not broken. When the Roman soldiers came to test if Jesus was dead, he was dead already, and they did not need to break his bones. It's called a messianic prophecy. It foreshadows Christ on the cross and his death uh, and atonement, blood atonement, for our sins. That's why the blood was painted above the doorposts of the house, and that's why we are uh, submitting the point that the Quran doesn't have it because it's trying to deny the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So words, therefore, it wouldn't show up in, in other things that symbolize. Yeah, Brother Darren, yes. in other words, the, 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 a term which I'd like to use yeah, here yeah. is there seems to be a pattern. Right. Quran. And I've got more patterns I could bring up. Quran wants to reject the death. Burial and right. resurrection of Jesus. Yeah. What do you mean wants to? Quran did reject it. Yeah, yeah. So the Quran what do you mean wants to reject it. Quran, the Quran rejected rejects it. that. It was not him. So the pattern that we see is that the Quran rejects that. And the Quran says there were only nine. Nine sons, that's right. So there seems to be a pattern here. And the Quran completely forgets about the one one sign mm. which a Jew would remember mm. say out of all ten. I don't, so there seems forget. to be a pattern. He doesn't mention, doesn't mean forget. So there seems to be a pattern involving three crucial elements: rejecting the later Passover, the actual eternal Passover Lamb, right. yeah. Jesus Christ, Amen. completely ignoring the fact of a defining moment, which mm. is the Passover Lamb yeah. in the nation of Israel from the Old Testament, and then the third one not mentioning that at all and saying there is there are only nine these three together gives us a, a solid case a, re a reasonable case to suggest that the quran seems to want to deny even the old testament passover occurrence so that's the pattern now can you want to talk I say, about I, the can break I, uh, I congratulate egypt, you I congr egypt tower. Oh, moment. i congratulate you on one thing when i came here in the beginning you were categorically saying the quran deny the passover now you have improved, got a little bit better, more towards truth. You say, Quran seems like wants to deny the Passover. There is a pattern. So, there, so there's a difference here. There yeah. is a pattern. So earlier, categorically, the crucifixion earlier you were categorically saying Quran denied, which I actually bring you more towards truth. And now you are changing it and say, Quran seems like it wants to deny. Now that probably a better uh, question or acquisition and that we can deal with it. What's the reason for the hikmah behind it? So and I'll give me two next weeks time. Next time when we meet, let's two weeks time. I will, I will answer. Yeah. The Egypt Tower. Egypt what, Tower. What, what, what yeah. Was your, what your, was your I point? think your question was, uh, if my uh, maybe serves me right. You saying the Quran doesn't have a clue. Uh, what Quran says, build a tower. Sorry, Pharaoh says to Haman, build a tower with a baked clay. Yeah. Mud baked clay. Make brick mud. Mud, bake, yeah. bake. Can we read the verse, chapter 58 verse? No, Go. no, you make your point. No, because if we, okay. So I make my point, correct me if I'm wrong. Bake, yeah. brick, base, yeah. Yeah. tower. So your your question was, your problem was that the Quran doesn't have a clue that they didn't use to make a black, uh, uh, clay tower. That's what your question was? My what, what was your clue? Brick, was? Remind me. Base, brick, base, towers. That's right. Non-existent from the time of Moses in Egypt. Right. So Quran is wrong and Allah doesn't know what he's talking about. That's yes. what he is. Quran is wrong. Can you just uh, uh, explain more? Uh, what is your acquisition here? There's one more detail you forgot. Because remember, yeah, yeah. That, I think if you read the, the word, then the memory comes back. Let's read the word. This guy Haman, Haman, who was supposed to be involved in it. Yeah. Let's, let, let, let's, stick to the, let's read the word. No, the, the accusation is this. Yeah. The accusation is this. Yeah. 
from the nation of Egypt, we have plenty of archaeological artifacts. Yeah. Plenty of them. Do you remember the verse? Are you listening? 2838. 2838. Okay. Yeah. From the nation of... Yeah, yeah. I'm listening. From the nation of Israel, we have plenty of archaeological artifacts. Yeah. I'm listening. From the nation of Egypt, we have plenty of archaeological artifacts. Yeah. Also, from the time of Moses, yeah. we have plenty of archaeological artifacts. It's not as if we don't know. It's not as if it's all silent. It's completely the opposite. We have plenty of artifacts. But the fact of the matter is, despite the existence or the uh, access to plenty of archaeological artifacts in the nation of Israel, what we find is a mud brick, a mud baked brick based tower is non existent. But the Quran, Surah 28, Ayah 38, it says, The Pharaoh said, O nobles, I do not know that you have any God beside myself. Haman, bake bricks out of clay and build a lofty palace for me so that I may mount up and be able to observe the God of Moses even though I believe that Moses is a liar. This particular translation says uh, palace, uh, more literal translation say tower. So clearly the Quran talks about something which is non-existent. Bake brick base tower from the time of Moses the crucial thing is tower big brick based tower non-existent but Quran thinks they existed there at that time and you ask the evidence era. you ask the evidence to show no, us the I am evidence. saying this is where is that tower and where is where are the evidence? and I'm going yeah. to submit to you this is completely unhistorical characteristic of someone who does not know history who can write such stuff to people who don't know history and therefore can't verify that is what we find in the Quran is my challenge okay. and what my is answer, your challenge? My answer to you is this you are you have a lot of false implications here what you saying that the tower was built yeah and we don't find any evidence where is the tower remember when when he was talking about Pharaoh you need to go back in time when he was talking about when Moses already came and asked him to let my people go. So in that during that time, Pharaoh was a bit fed up of him in his lies according to him. So he just boasted. Look what he says in this verse. Very important. Three three things he says wrong. All wrong. All lies of his. Three. First one is, Oh nobles, I do not know that you have any God beside myself. Meaning, I know that I am the only God. There is no God beside that. That's the first lie he made. And I'm going to go to the third lie and then come back to the second lie. And third lie he says, I know that Moses is a liar. According to Allah, he's a prophet of God. So that's the second lie. In the middle he lied as well. But in that lie, he's also trying to prove to the world. If Moses can do miracles, I can do bigger than him. Meaning what? Because since I am a God, I am going to order a man to bake a brick clay tower which is not possible which, which is impossible thing because uh, because since i am saying it that's going to happen so in his in his crazy rant he was saying all sort of things which doesn't make sense because he's claiming to be divine but the point here is what haman answered did haman says yes sir or did quran anywhere says the haman say yes sir i will build it and Haman built it. It's completely Quran didn't say the tower was built. Quran didn't say even his minister Haman said I will. Quran only says in his crazy rant he said these things. But how we know the tower can never be built? Quran, tower never built. You know why? Because very near after this event he and his host were drowned in the sea. And if we follow the Quran, the Quranic narrative about Pharaoh and Moses, we know the time of Moses was around Pharaoh preaching was not more than one year, maximum one year. Even your scholars say it was less than one year. And we know the towers are not built in one year. Pyramid took 20 years to build with 100,000 people working 10 hours a day. So that it, it, was, it never happened. All it was his words. He said it and that's what Allah quoted it. Allah never said it was built. So so, so, your, 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 so your explanation is? It was Pharaoh's crazy rant. This is just and Allah pure boasting. It. 
Exactly. This never happened because three bolts he made. This is pure boasting of the Pharaoh. It never happened. Yeah. Is Abbas's rescue? No, no. Let me. It's not Abbas's rescue. Please. Quran doesn't say that he was built. Please. Neither Quran says Haman says yes, I, yes, I heard, sir. I heard. Haman was listening. I heard. And he said, okay, he said. I heard what you said. So Abbas's help, rescue for the Quran is that the Quran never says this particular tower was never built that but and it was just a boasting no, Quran never say it was built it was just a pure boasting by but you are asking for the evidence this the is evidence. Quran didn't say this it was is built. Abbas Quran say he said it this is Abbas's rescue unfortunately Abbas's rescue this is Abbas's explanation which comes to the rescue of Quran unfortunately Unfortunately, yes. the tough scene writers disagree with you. Oh, please, go ahead. So I'm going to read to you. Go ahead. The, the scene writers say it was built. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to read to you from Ibn Kathir. Okay. One of one of a very reputed tafsir. Okay. Uh, for surah, for, 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 yeah, tafsir on this. What does what does uh, Ibn Kathir say? This is what Ibn Kathir says. And Firan said. Uh, Firan is the way he uh, represents Pharaoh. And uh, let, let me let me just use the term Pharaoh there. And Pharaoh said, Oh Haman, build me a saw that I may arrive at the ways, the ways of the heavens, and I may look upon the God of Musa. But verily I think him to be a liar. This is his boasting so yes. far. Thus it was made fair seeming in Firan's eyes, in Pharaoh's eyes, the evil of his deeds, and he was hindered from the path. And the plot of Pharaoh led to nothing but loss and destruction. Yes. Had it had he stopped there, you might have a chance in what you said. But Ibn Kathir goes on to say, Pharaoh built this tower. Ibn Kathir said that. Exactly. You can read that for yourself if you want. Pharaoh built this tower, which was the highest structure. Ibn Kathir goes on even to. Uh, 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 explain or give details of this structure. Okay. What does he say? Pharaoh built this tower which was the highest structure ever seen on earth because he wanted to show his people that Are you Musa, reading the commentary of the Quran? This is, is Ibn Kathir. This is not Abbas. This is no, not this Kathir Abbas. As well. I agree with Kathir as well. Yeah. Yeah. Please read Ibn Kathir. Ibn yeah. Kathir says that Pharaoh built that tower. Yes. Get help from your scholar also. Your scholar who compared oh. Passover to Goa. <laughs> That's a scholar no, 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 no. of your Quran. Come on, don't, when, don't, 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 don't mock people here. Yeah. No, but he, when, he, when he was put on the limelight trying to explain why the Quran doesn't talk about the Passover, he thinks the Passover was comparable to the Goa. What kind of scholar is he? Is that the kind of scholarship he does at the mosque and in other places? I'd really like to know. But now come, to come back to you. When I, when I see people like you, I really thank Allah for his wonderful world. That he has created so many different well, you people should, with different minds, with different abilities. You should. You, I thank Allah for all the diversity he has created in this heaven. Amen. And, and on the earth. So, that's it. Well, but as a scholar, you might want to also ask your Islamic Allah if he could help you in understanding what the important things of the nation of Israel are. Now, you, Abbas, yeah. please. Your explanation, the Abbas explanation, we don't care about. I'm reading it, Bekadir. Yeah. No one. Yeah, good. Please. Pharaoh built this tower, which was the highest structure ever. Highest structure ever. Can you imagine how tall that would have been? Sixty-five meter point three centimeters. Well done, Yaya. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the input. <laughs> Highest structure ever, <coughs> ever seen on the earth. Thank but you. he wanted to. Yeah. But my hang on, man. My question here is. Uh, I I I couldn't. I didn't find what he's saying is high structure. It's ever. in your. It's in your Ibn Kathir. This is not my source. Because when Ibn Kathir started. Quran, Tafsir, Ibn Kathir from your source. Look, look, what I'm what I saying in here, when Ibn Kathir started the interpretation of this word, he said, Oh, Chiefs, I know that you have no God other than me. Uh, Allah tells us about your own. Then he gathered 
and yeah. cried about yeah. Lord. Yeah. And, no, 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 no. But before that, what I'm reading is is so Allah seized him with punishment for his last. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just reading the one before that. When Allah says, then Allah seized him with the punishment for his last and first transgression. Verily, in this is an uh, instinctive, instinctive it. meaning. After that, Allah seized him. Allah is saying that in the Quran. No, 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 so, so come he to the important have a time to build the tower. Now you're going back to no, your no, own no, excuse. No, my, my read further. Read further, please. What is that? Yeah, read that, please. Uh, so Firon said, "Oh Haman, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, please read that. Oh Haman, build, okay. build me build a saw, me a saw that I may arrive yeah. at the at the ways, yeah. the ways of the, the heavens, and I look upon the, the God of Musa. But verily, I think him to be alive. Thus, it was made for seeming, uh, made fair seeming in Firon's eyes, the evil of of his deeds, and he was um, hindered from from the path." And the plot of Firon led to nothing but loss and destruction. Firon built this tower, yeah. which was the highest. Pharaoh, structure. according yeah. to Ibn Kathir, even so we don't care about Abbas even anymore. Even ever Abbas. seen on earth, because he wanted uh, to show the people that Musa was lying. So when, this, and I won't read all of it. What are we saying? What do you mean? It's already there. Claim that there was the Pharaoh, no according to Ibn Kathir, Firon. built the tower. Okay. Where is it? Okay. What evidence no, 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 is there? No, no, no. This is one of the yeah. tallest structures, okay. according to Ibn Kathir. Okay. okay. Where is it? Okay. I'm, I'm going to ask you now. Like. Here it comes, where the, the scholars are scholars as a human being, and Allah, Allah is God without an error. Look, Allah says in the Quran again and again, after the Moses showed nine signs, what happened to Pharaoh and his is his people? They were they chased uh, Moses and they were drowned. Quran is very clear about that. Chapter ten. Verse 90, uh, verse 90 onwards tells the Pharaoh chased Moses and they were drowned. The Quran is very clear the Pharaoh didn't have a time to build the tower. Now, how long does it take to build the tower? As we know, pyramids, I told you. Pyramids Abbas, took. Abbas, but brother, Abbas, I have to make my point. Abbas, Abbas, I have to make that point already. No, 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 no. no. I'm not no, no, asking no, no, no. you for you your don't understand. You don't understand. When yeah. do you live? This is the problem. What time? This what is the time? problem. When he Abbas, just carry on talking. Abbas, I have to clarify your problem, Abbas, here, brother. What time do we live in? I'm talking for the for the. When did Ibn Kathir live? For the sake when of did people. you? When do we live? If that he Who are you? Who is Ibn Kathir? I don't know, I just need one minute to explain it. Even I, I have that. I have. Okay, brother, one second, just one minute. So where, was, where was I? It's so, okay. So, Quran is very clear. Moses came to ask Pharaoh to let me let my people go. Pharaoh didn't let it go until the, all the signs were shown. Then he let the people go. Ten now, when, signs, yeah, ten yeah, signs. yeah. Well, you, according to you, ten signs, according to Islam, nine signs. But we are not arguing about the signs here. But we're saying, as Pharaoh was going out, oh, sorry, Moses was going out, Pharaoh chased him. And Pharaoh was drowned. Quran says he died. Chapter 10, verse 94 is clear that he died. Verse 93 or 94. He died. So when did Pharaoh had a time to build the tower? He come on one second. He can't be. Moses is going so slowly. Here, Pharaoh building the tower. Tower is built. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's catch up with Moses. It doesn't happen like that. So what I would ask Ibn Kathir, Ya Sheikh, tell me. Where did you learn that Pharaoh had a time well, to build the you tower? Can, you can I, ask, I, I no, have you one, can ask, one point. You, I have one point. Yeah, yeah, no, you can so tell me. No, 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 is no. completely Abbas, wrong. Abbas, Abbas, you can ask for input from your Sheikh. Ibn Gadir later on I, I as am. to when He's the tower alive. was built. No, you can go wrong. You can ask him later on if you get chance. So that you is are, not you my are question. appealing to a scholar. That is I not my Kadeer question. Not to the Quran or Hadith. I appeal. Neither Hadith I appeal, says that. Neither I appeal. Quran. I appeal not to Abbas, but to a reputable Islamic source. Not reputable in my eyes. Because I think Ibn Gadir has same. plenty of issues himself. But that's, not a of but that's not my point. No, no possible to build a tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is in other words, the Quran is completely yeah. nonsensical. This, this is what he is saying. Is it, this is, no. You need to consider this. I need to. When they are going through difficulty by, 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 uh, by the curse which come upon them by not obeying, they don't have time to build the tower. Yeah, yeah. Can you please stay quiet for some time? Abbas, the point is simple. You can ask your Sheikh, you can ask your Sheikh Ibn Kathir later on for when it was built, what kind of feelings he had, whether he liked to celebrate that or not. All those things you can ask him later. 
That's not my question. Not my later. question is. Going to my question is. What my later? question. I'm going to clear my right question. Now, eh? My question is. Given that someone much more reputable amongst Muslims than this particular Abbas, oh. who is Ibn Kathir, says personal attack. The okay. tower was arrow. built. Personal attack. Have you written a tafsir? Are you talking Ibn Kathir or are you talking Abbas? Have you written okay. a tafsir? No, I haven't. Ibn Kathir has. Okay. If you write a tafsir today, how many people would read it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And how many people are reading Ibn Kathir's tafsirs? Okay, I have to clarify your... Now the you, point is... You have a lot of confusion in your mind about the, point, the scholars. You think the scholars, confusion. whatever scholars say, they have to be accurate. And I'm assuring you, no, no, no. the scholars I am say saying, make errors. I am and saying, I have seen myself. I am and saying, I can prove right now, I am a saying, scholar making an error. I am saying, I don't know, I don't care what you say. What I am saying is, Ibn Kathir says... I don't know says, if you're doing that for camera. You Ibn Kathir, speak, uh, maybe, maybe Ibn Kathir says camera, and I don't think it's fair. the tower was built. Okay. Where is the evidence for the okay. tower okay. Okay. which was okay. built okay. out of mud, big, okay. 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 So you are appealing to the scholar. You I am appealing okay. Okay. to someone who lived before Otherwise, you. Why every time I speak, you have to talk over me. I let you speak. Come on. Go You're on. a Christian, big, big, big hearted, like a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Okay. So, you, our first criteria is the Quran. Quran never said the tower was built. Quran says Pharaoh asked for tower for build, and then Quran also tells us when that was happening, Pharaoh changed Moses, and Pharaoh was drowned. So, if you follow, if you are you're a logical person, you can see clearly Pharaoh did not have a time to build a tower. So when Ibn Kathir says he built the tower, the question is. When did he build the tower? Because he commanded Haman in the presence of Moses when Moses was preaching them. He commanded them. And Moses, as according to your, uh, your biblical scholars, Moses was not around more than six months. No, maximum six months. Abbas. Eight months. No, no, no. Abbas. I, I have to make my point to, for people to understand what I'm trying to say. So when Ibn Kathir said that, that he built the tower, when he had the time to build the tower because he died straight away according to Islam. So Ibn Kathir is completely here wrong and he's talking and you know why he's wrong? Because Ibn Kathir cannot quote the, any hadith. The Muhammad Sassam say he built the tower. He cannot show from the Quran. This is his own understanding and as a scholar, I have experienced myself, scholars disagree with each other. Ibn Kathir rejected Jalalain. Jalalain disagree with Ibn Kathir. So you cannot appeal to Ibn Kathir as a complete effect or truth. So they can make wise, according to you, these sources are un. Reliable. I'm not saying that. No, that's I'm saying exactly that what you're saying. Not, I'm saying that Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir's statement, you are saying, is not true. What I'm saying is, Ibn Kathir is not perfect like Quran. Quran is perfect. Unreliable. That's the other no, way of no, saying no, the same no, thing. No, 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 unreliable. There are many things good and knowledgeable we can learn, but we should not rely on one scholar. What we see, if there is some some something so do you think Ibn something Kathir has got this wrong no. yeah yeah absolutely so what when, when some people get it wrong can we not use the expression unreliable not wholly reliable yes yeah. okay yeah. unless people get it what wrong do, what we do in islam are they not unreliable what we do in islam when something is ambiguous in the quran not very clear what we do we don't need one scholar we say ibn kathir we need uh, Jal uh, jalalain we need Maududi, we need Abbas, we need enough, Tabari, enough, no, 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 So if when all of them in consensus someone, saying that happens, when then, then there's a point. All, all lying. It's, it's, got, it's got to be double standards because so often when there's textual variants amongst manuscripts for us, we all say that it's unreliable. So we have to, we have to use the same standard uh, and metric of application to say that it could be unreliable. So, so yeah, just, just, to, just, to, just to narrow down, brother. Mm -hmm. Ibn Kathir makes incorrect statements, and therefore, shall we say Ibn Kathir is unreliable? Absolutely. And that's a sensible statement to make. And no, that's exactly I, I, what I wouldn't say that because when you say unreliable, that means anything you pick Ibn Kathir, you can't rely. What the word should be if Ibn, Ibn Kathir, Kathir gets something Ibn Kathir wrong, is not perfect. That's what we say. If Ibn Kathir gets <laughs> some things clearly wrong, the other things which we don't know whether he has got wrong or not, can we trust 
came. No, what we should do, we should look at uh, Hadith, the Quran, and if Ibn Kathir is going there to, any it, reliable source which is entirely true? Quran, of course. Nothing else, according to you. Uh, and Sunnah of the Prophet, which is of the Prophet, which is which are many of the Sunnahs are mentioned in the in the uh, Hadith, and, and many and of the words you many are saying, of the Sunnahs and in other words you are, are saying are through continuity of Ummah. Whatever people practice from the beginning, is there even if any the hadith religion, source which is completely correct according to you? Hadith source. Muslim, the, the, if you are trying to say hadith Sahih source, Bukhari, if you are trying to say that, Sahih Muslim, if you are trying anything to anything which is completely ask true, true according to you, what are you trying to say to me? Do I believe the hadith are perfect, Bukhari and Muslim? The answer is no. In other words, only hadiths, Quran, only Quran is perfect. In other words, according to you. Tafsirs of errors, hadiths of errors, according to you. Yeah? yeah. Let me tell you this. It's a human effort. Let me let me tell you this. Yeah. For Muslims across the world, this is very important. Which is when a source lies or tells an incorrect thing once, it means he has lost credibility. Do you agree that? Yes, I do. Do you agree on that? That's exactly the point. When you lie once according to my knowledge, I won't know in which other which of your other statements can I trust you. I won't know. You might be lying in all sorts of other things. In other words, it's going to be the second time I'm shaking your hand. Congratulations to you, brother. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell Christians for years. If you find stick one error hadith. in the Bible, stick to how the can you rely your eternity on that book? Stick to hand. The Bible is full of errors. Stick you agree? to the stick to the hadith. Does the Bible have errors or not? No. Stick to the Are hadiths. Yes, I'm standing over there. Say Bible has 40 errors at least. 40 stick to the contradictions. Stick to yes, the over there standing there. Scholars are telling us right stick now. To the, there are interpolations in the Bible. There are additions and there are fabrications. Are you denying that? Are you ashamed of your hadiths and tafsirs? We were talking about your hadiths and tafsirs. I am I am ashamed of all the daif and fabricated no, 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 no. You said because there are no hadiths. You agreed with us yes. that there is no hadith source. It's hundred percent perfect. Yes. True. Yes. So hadi all hadith sources have errors. My yardstick is Quran, and Quran is hundred percent perfect. Please agree and on this. Hadith first. is a human Please effort. Please agree Even on this. Even though they were sincere, but there are some errors. You know why? Please because, agree on this. Because in Bukhari Abbas. and Muslim, which are the most authentic books, I find contradictions in them. Please agree even, even on Sheikh this Bani, please, Even Sheikh Al-Bani, the recent scholar of Hadith, one of the greatest scholars of Hadith in recent times, he found errors in the Bukhari and Muslim Abbas, and he said these Abbas, Hadith are Zaif. Please, can you make a, give a simple agreement to the statement which is, there is no Hadith source which is entirely true. 100% perfect. Yes. True. True. Which is entirely true. Yeah. There are errors you see, there's, even according to where... The words here. I'm saying 100% perfect. When you say entirely true, meaning the, 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 you anything, don't like the term any, you. anything you read, you don't like anything the term you truth read you. is a lie. You anything. don't what like we do, the truth. What term we do, truth to you. what we do when we read the hadith, if something is clear with the Quran, we just follow it. But if there is something ambiguous, we need to research a little bit more. We need to find. Abbas, are you happy so with the term truth? Yes, are you I'm, happy with the term I, truth? I am a seeker of truth, brother. When someone, I'm very happy with the when truth. someone, when someone has made an incorrect statement, yes. can we say he made a statement which is untruthful? Can we say that? If it's something, sorry. If someone makes a statement which is incorrect, yes. can we say he has made statements which are untruthful? Absolutely. But, but is there, one, one, is one, there, one thing. Is we, there, we also need is to there, see if it's a deliberate. Deliberately I something done, more deliberate yes. I or, 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 or or by mistake. So we need to judge on that. Abbas, please get that later. My, yeah, simple, yeah. Like, my yeah. simple point is there is no hadith source, there is no tafsir, which is 100% true. true. Which is true. Yeah. No, don't say that. 100% correct. When you true. say true, true, when you say true, that means we just put them aside and we just don't read them. Yeah. If, if they have no, errors, no, that's not enough. <laughs> they are a good source and. Sahih Bukhari and Muslim especially, there are most of them. I would say maybe 90% are accurate. Yeah? 10% could be errors there. So now come back to the Quran. And then so, so you have, we, you we have, can't just leave them. You have danced around an obvious point, which is that you said the Sunnah of the Prophet. Prophets. The Prophets. 
Sunnah Ibrahim, Sunnah Musa, Sunnah Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The example of Muhammad is all very that's important all that's according to you. Is, the example of Muhammad is very important to you except you are saying hadith sources have errors. Yes. There, there is have no error. hadith source without an error according to you. So Sunnah is unreliable. No. The you don't know the difference between the, Sunnah and, and Hadith. The example. Every Hadith is not a Sunnah. The example of but the Prophet. But every Sunnah is in the Hadith. There's a difference here. Sunnah came to us from generation to generation. Stop. stop not from stop, Bukhari or Muslim. You stop, must understand that. Stop you dancing need to understand. Around, stop. I'm not dancing, dancing around. around. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Unreliable history. You are. You don't even know the difference Islam. between Hadith and Sunnah. Unreliable history do you of know, Islam do you know the difference in the non-Quranic material this is, this is as your, per this your is, agreement. Aro, now let's get Aro, to the Quran. Your ignorance Abbas, really dripping let's get to the Quran. Dripping from you. Now, you don't know the difference between Sunnah and Hadith. Do you know Abbas, the, do you know the, the difference between Sunnah and Hadith? Are you saying, you don't. are you bold? You, don't, you are ignorant. Abbas, are you bold enough to say I am the, saying Quran, it, I'm the Quran does not have inaccurate points? The Quran is perfect. No inaccuracy. Absolutely, not at all. Well, so, what about, what about I know where you're going to go into the Quranic thing, but I need to do my Maghrib Salah as well. I'm getting late. As well. So you can go yeah. to your Salah. We can have, but before that, can, can I have can a topic I challenge about, you? I'll challenge you. So let's have a debate with contradictions of the Bible and Quran. I've been challenging you for a couple of years now. You haven't shown up to talk to me. Talking I said let's Quran, talk about the contradictions about, and errors of Bible talking and about the Quran. The Quran. Let's have a debate about that. Talking about the Quran, yeah. the Quran has historical errors. Not a single error. Scientific errors. False implication of yours. Contradictions. Not at all. Absurdities. In your mind. And on top of them, the Quran, the Quran does not have anything to suggest that it is supernatural in its origin. When Quran Did you say carefully it's note? A, it's a word of the Lord of the worlds. Abbas, that's, that's, my challenge. That is supernatural Abbas, in itself. My challenge, my challenge to you has been extremely clear. I'd like to talk about these areas. Quran has scientific errors. Quran has historical errors. Quran has contradictions. Like the one you just proved about the clay. Quran, Quran doesn't, has it's even contradictions. Even the Kadir saying that. If the Kadir didn't quote any hadith, where did he learn that from? This is his own Quran uh, understanding. Quran didn't. Quran has absurdities and on top of that, there is nothing in the Quran we will, we will, we will talk to about suggest it. Brother, a I, supernatural I, I think I refuted you very successfully. That's why you had to run to Ibn Qadir. The words of the Quran, the words of the Quran, chapter 28, 38, did not say that he built it. Ibn did Qadir even says say, that. Did it even say that Haman say yes, sir? He was boasting in his crazy rant. According Allah, to this Abbas, Allah, Allah according to this 21st no, no. century Abbas, who is no scholar with no tafsir to his credit, Ibn Kathir disagrees with you. Ad hominem. Okay. Ibn Kathir disagrees no, with you. If you read the Quran in the, as a whole, you see what happened to Pharaoh. He didn't even have the time to build, that, build the tower because the most was your there. He let the people Ibn go. Ibn Kathir that's disagrees with you. That's what the Quran says again and again. Ibn Kathir chased. Pharaoh drowned. He Tell me that. precisely where the Quran says when the Pharaoh started building this tower. Where does the Quran say the Quran, that? Quran is talking about Please. when the when the Moses was around. That's where? 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 No, that, that, when? When? That, that is why the Quran, when, when, That when. is why. Okay. Do you know when? when? No. When Moses came to Pharaoh, before that Pharaoh didn't even know. Pharaoh only when, know. When? When? No. How long? Okay. How when? long? Are you going to let me see? That? When Pharaoh Moses came, there's many places in the Quran, when Moses came to Pharaoh to say, believe in my God and let my people go. That is how he became aware of Moses God. Abbas, and, and be even in your Bible, Abbas, it's not more than one year. Straw, Scholars say the last it was not more. straw that you are holding on to is a simple claim that you are saying the Pharaoh did not have enough time to build the tower. Yeah. The question I am asking and you, Bible the question I am asking you, and Quran is the evidence. The question, no, no, don't come to the Bible. You have, you have, oh, you have, you have rubbished the Bible earlier. Now, when you, you, you but what you don't rubbish the Bible. I don't. So, the rubbish is so, a very so valid I, story. So I'm going to keep coming back to the you. Bible. Your Bible is, is a very clear. valid historical resource. I am willing to talk about that later. But now. As far as you are concerned, you rubbish the Bible. So don't ever go to the Bible and seek 
Oh, help. Don't do that. Look at the Christian. Look at the Quran. Tell me. I'm not a Christian. Why I have to answer you through the Quran, but you don't believe in the Quran? Look at the Quran. You don't believe in the Quran. Why do you have to answer me from the Quran? Because you are saying, according to the Quran and the Bible. And the Bible. According to the Quran, is there any suggestion as to the time that the Pharaoh had before the nation of Israel left? What you need to understand the whole. No, 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 no. Is there any no. information on the time there, available? The story of Moses. You just made that up. Story, is there any information story, in the Quran? Look, first of all, I need to do my Maghrib Salah, yeah. And you know the Moses story. Moses, uh, story of Moses is mentioned all over the Quran. But what we need to is see. Is there what we need any to information on? How long, how much time the Pharaoh had in, in, to build the tower? In my age, is I'm there any information okay, in the Quran? I'm, I'm, or did you just make that up? I am going to, no, no, I didn't. I am going to make a claim and I challenge you to refute that claim whenever you have time or we can discuss that in detail and I will show you the, uh, the, the, the evidence in the Quran. But my claim is this, if you read the whole story of the, of the Pharaoh and the Moses, you, you gather all the different verses. You will find out that Moses came to Pharaoh and say, "Let my people go." And Moses say, uh, Pharaoh said, "No." Then Allah gave him nine signs, and then Pharaoh let the people go, and then Pharaoh chased him, and he was drowned. So that period of Moses coming and preaching him and going is not more than maybe a year. Not Who more than a so? year. There's, is that in the Quran? No. Is, is that in the Quran? No, this is what it is. The, the, the is right. that in the Quran? No, that not. The, the time period is not in the Quran. Uh, so you just made that up purely to suit your argument? No, no. What I'm saying is, when we, when Quran says Quran is Muhammad, a yardstick, a criterion over the other scriptures, meaning anything goes against the Quran, we reject it. Anything, How much time man, did the man, Pharaoh no, have? Anything is that in the Quran? Anything agrees with the Quran, we accept it. But anything ambiguous, neither going what against, neither uh, you make things so, up. So we. This is how the criterion works. Does the Quran say? Why you keep cutting me off. Does I, the I think Quran, you understand what I'm trying to say, and you don't want Quran, people to hear. Does so the when Quran, the Bible, when the Bible says something which is not in the Quran, we take it as a historical fact. And the Bible is clear about that. When the Moses came to Pharaoh, do you see what was happening there, brother? No, just, just continue. Just continue. Now, when you say yardstick, meaning something goes with it, we take it. Goes against it, we don't take it. We reject it. And something which is nothing, neither against, neither uh, with, then we see in, in in history how it, it can be trusted or not. And we have no problem rejecting. Then the, the Moses, when they came to Pharaoh, that time period was not more than maximum one year. In other words, what he has done is. He has rubbished the Bible just to make sure whole. he has rubbished the Bible when he wanted to rubbish the Bible to make sure the not Quran when, doesn't fall apart. Not when I want that. Not when I want it. I say when it goes against the Quran. When when the, the Bible stands against the Quran, he has rubbished the Bible. And later on, when he wants the help of the Bible, he comes back to the Bible. Perfect. That's what he has essentially done. But, but, but this, this is how it is. The Quran, Quran, Quran has 6,000 verses. Bible has 31,000 verses. So now, Quran cannot explain every single event of the Bible because Quran is not big enough. So, now, so Abbas, what we do, anything Abbas, goes against Abbas, the principle of we, the Quran. We'll deal with your we story later, Anything please. with the principle of the Quran, we agree. Abbas, and what happened in the middle? Abbas, the historical events. Abbas, we accept them if it's a known truth. You could we accept them. You could, write that, going against you could write that so, up on paper and give that to Disney filmmakers. They might be interested in your story. What I'm asking, well, I'm, I'm going to well, wrap Disney this make up. all the good stories. I, I'm, I'm going Every to, story I'm, of Disney is I'm not going, a fiction, you know that. I'm, I'm going Disney to, had made a story I'm, about the Moses. I'm, I'm That's not a fiction. To, I'm going to wrap this up here. And my challenge to you and is. And I'm to going go. to go there, pray, and I'm going to pray for you. And my challenge. And maybe you wrap up your Bible forever and, and put them somewhere and pick up the Quran. And my challenge to you is simple. I'm saying. Okay, two I'm weeks saying, time. Two weeks time. Wallahi, I promise I will answer this your accusation question that how I worked that out that it was Pharaoh didn't have time to build the tower. Good. Okay. On top of that, can I please challenge you by saying Quran has scientific errors, Quran has historical errors, Quran has contradictions, Quran has absurdities, and Quran on top of all these things has nothing whatsoever to prove supernatural origin. Nothing in the Quran exhibits supernatural origin at all. That is my challenge 
if you are willing to take that challenge up. And we got same thing with the Bible as well. I will say same thing. Plus, I add the Bible has false prophecies as well. Try that. Good to see you today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Good, Good to see you today. But two weeks time, I'll answer your question about this Pharaoh and time. And the first one was your time Passover about the Passover thing. How Christ come? How come Islamic Allah God has willing, poor memory? God willing, I will answer that. How, and how never come, again you will repeat that question again in the public. How come and lot of Islamic Muslims Allah there. have poor memory about a significant event of the history of Israel? That, that's your claim. He doesn't. Passover significant. How come Islamic Allah doesn't remember that? People are already heard you. Why you keep just putting in their mind? You brainwashing your people. Good I'm to see you, boss. Just joking. Yeah, nice Good to see you. Yeah, peace to you. Nice see you later. Yeah. Yeah, uh, sorry it was a bit uh, heated up right from the start, various conversations, partly I think it's my mistake, I do apologize, but uh, fact of the matter is, we have been discussing about a couple of things today, one is the uh, fact of the Quran completely ignoring the Passover, That's correct. the Quran thinking that there were only nine signs that Moses showed to the Pharaoh, yeah. only nine, not ten. A simple reading of Surah I think 17, Ayah 101 or 110, I can't remember, tells us that the Quran thinks that there were only nine signs, not ten. A simple reading tells us that the Quran seems to ignore the tenth one, the tenth sign. And we also spoke about the pattern, the pattern of the Quran denying the death of Jesus, the Quran completely ignoring or forgetting the Passover, uh, uh, Passover lamb, uh, which is uh, in the Old Testament. And thirdly, the fact that the Quran mentions that there were only nine signs. Put them together, there is a pattern. The Quran seems to ignore the Passover sacrifice pattern that behave, uh, began in the Old Testament That's right. and the ultimate fulfillment in Jesus Christ himself. Amen. So that is one broad area we touched upon today. And the other thing was uh, Abbas's mud brick, brick based tower. Um, Abbas was hoping to say that uh, um, he could explain away the claim of this particular tower in Surah 28, Ayah 38 by saying it was a mere boast. It never happened according to the Quran. Early Tafsir writers disagree with him. Ibn Kathir, uh, honest Tafsir, about this passage says that such a tower was built and it wasn't just that it was built but it was one of the tallest towers of that time. We know how tall pyramids were even at that time. So we'll be hoping to find such a very tall mud baked brick based tower in the land of Egypt. But there is zilch evidence for such a thing. Quran contradicts with established history and we have closed a conversation with Abbas by challenging him by saying Quran has historical errors, Quran has scientific errors, it has contradictions, absurdities and on top of that no content which can be claimed to be supernatural in its origin. Thankfully Abbas at multiple points in time made a few admissions, Quran rejects the Bible. So there is no point Muslims going around acting as if they are happy with the Jews, they are happy with the Shema and this and that and so on. The Quran denies the Bible, rejects the Bible, considers the Bible to be unreliable. They don't use the Bible, they don't care about the Bible. On top of that, Abbas also agreed there is no reliable source, Hadith source or Tafsir, no reliable early non-Quranic Islamic source according to Abbas. So the only thing pending in his mind is that Quran is reliable and that is why we have challenged on the Quran having scientific errors, historical errors, absurdities, contradictions and nothing to suggest supernatural origin. So that's my wrap up. Brother Darren, did you want to add anything? So I just want to add the surahs and the ayahs for Muslims or Christians to check in regards to the nine signs, okay, or any, you know, uh, any discourse on on the signs and, and the events that took place in the Exodus. So we read from Surah 7, uh, Ayat 133 down to 136. Surah 27 verse 12 says, 
and enter your hand into the opening of your bosom, it shall come forth white without evil among nine signs to Pharaoh and his people. Surely they are transgressing people. So as far as we're concerned, Alaziva, not all knowing, always forgetful of the tenth plague, it's just not there. The onus is on Abbas to come back now and show the tenth plague, to show the Passover lamb. Why is it important? Why is it significant? Because Jesus dies at the time of Passover. His bones are not broken. He is the Passover lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. It's obvious, as far as the Quran is concerned, it's not trying to make those links or connections at all. That's why we can't find it and that's why it's not there. And I'm wrapping up. So thank you. Islam is the biggest hoax in the entire human history. And that is, I mean, if that were the only point, I wouldn't be so sad. The tragedy is that a billion plus Muslims have fallen for this hoax. The fact of the matter, my dear friends, it is only in the Bible that we have revelation which is verifiable to be from God. Only in the Bible we have signs and wonders and well-defined prophecies. Islam is nowhere close to the Bible. The Bible is supernatural in its origin. And therefore, come to the God of the Bible. Come to Jesus Christ. It is Jesus Christ who shed his blood on the cross or in Calvary who is able to save you. It is Jesus Christ who said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus alone is the way. And Islam clearly is against Jesus. Islam clearly is against the Bible. Thank you very much. God's richest blessings to you. One last point to make just before we go is um, Brother Rule is talking about the pattern of things being hidden in regards to detail that connects to Jesus as the Messiah, the death, uh, the crucifixion and the resurrection. What we also find is when we go to the story of Cain and Abel uh, in the Quran, we hear that sacrifices are brought, but no lamb is brought like the lambs were brought in the biblical account. Also, when we go to the account of Jonah, as far as I know in the Quran, uh, um, Jonah was in the belly of a well for three days. That's not in the Quran. We don't find the three days. And why is that significant again? Because Jesus Christ, when he was asked by the Pharisees to give a sign, was said that the only sign that he would uh, that would be given is that uh, the sign of Jonah, which is being in, in, in the, the belly of the earth for three days before resurrection. We don't find those accounts in the Quran. We don't find those details. Islamic Allah somehow just seems to miss them over, basically because they foreshadowed Christ and his detailed death and resurrection for all of our sins on the cross. Thank you very much. That's very insightful also. So yes. the pattern is very, very important. Thank you. God's blessing. Bye-bye.